Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Leah J. So I hope you guys are having a great day and a great week so far. Today we are going to be making some Korean fried honey soy garlic chicken. Mm -mm -mm. So last week I made this and I put it on my Instagram and I did a poll to see if you guys wanted to see a video on this and I got a 100% to do a video on this so that's why we're here making this video. It's very simple and easy, it only requires a couple ingredients just like most of the other videos that I have on my channel. But before we do jump into the video, I'm going to give a quick shout out to Wear and Apparel for my little custom shirt here. As you can see it says Cooking with Leah and then it has the cute little spoon and fork. And then on the back here it has their logo right there at the top and then it has my Instagram there, Cooking with Leah J. Make sure you guys go ahead and follow me there. And make sure you guys go ahead and follow Wear It at Apparel on Instagram at Wear It at underscore apparel. They are a clothing brand that provides high quality trendy items using eco-friendly and organic materials. And the items range from shirts, hoodies, hats, socks, and a whole lot more. So they basically have everything you need. So I'm going to go ahead and link the information down below in the description box. So make sure you guys go ahead and check them out at wear at underscore apparel on Instagram. And I'm going to link the rest of their social media down below for all your clothing brand needs. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, guys. So here are all of our ingredients for the honey soy garlic fried chicken. So I have some garlic here, I have some sesame seeds, these are optional. Then I have some soy sauce, I have some gochugang back here which is a red hot pepper paste. That's just going to make it spicy, if you don't like spicy don't use it. Then I have our cornstarch, some salt, some pepper, and some honey, and then I have our chicken thighs here. So let's just go ahead and dip right on in. Alright, so here I have four chicken thighs, these were boneless and skinless. I just went ahead and cut a little bit of the fat off of these. and I cut them into bite-sized chunks. The next thing we're going to do is just put a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. Just a little bit. You don't need a lot because most of our seasoning is going to come from our sauce. And the next thing, in order to get the really crispy outside for Korean fried chicken, I'm going to put cornstarch. We're just going to put a little bit over there. And we're just going to mix. And you want to squeeze the chicken and the cornstarch together so it really sticks to it. And I honestly hate this feeling and the sound, but it's necessary. So when you're done, it should look something like this. It has cornstarch on the outside of it. And I already have my oil heating up at 350 degrees, so now we're just going to go ahead and drop these down in our oil. Alright guys, so I have my oil ready and our chicken ready right here. So the trick to Korean fried chicken is frying it twice. So I have the oil heated to 350 degrees, so we're just going to cook the chicken until it's like a light golden brown color and then we're going to take it out, put it over here on this rack so it can cool off for a couple of minutes. And then we're going to crank the oil heat up to 400 degrees and then we're going to fry it again. So that ensures a nice, really crispy, crunchy outside. And also, I use chicken thighs instead of chicken breasts because chicken thighs, since we are frying this twice, chicken thighs has more moisture in it than chicken breast does. So it's going to be a lot more juicy than it would be with just chicken breast. Shake. Alright, so here's what our chicken is looking like so far. It's starting to get a little bit of color, but it's not quite crispy yet. So we're just going to keep it in there for another couple minutes. Alright, so here's our chicken. As you can see, it has a little bit more color on it. And the outside is crispy, so we're just going to go ahead and drain this off a little bit. And we're just going to set it over here on the rack so it can cool. So now we're going to turn our heat up 
to 400. Let our oil get hot. And then we're gonna let the chicken rest over here for about three to five minutes until it's slightly cooled. All right, so our chicken has cooled and our oil has heated up. Now it's time to drop it back in there for another couple of minutes, probably about five to seven minutes. You just gotta watch it until they're nice and golden brown. All right, and it looks like our chicken is about done. Guys, hear that crunch? To cool one last time, then we're gonna prepare our sauce. So all we're doing for the sauce is I have our soy sauce here. Just gonna pour that in. This is probably about half a cup. Then we're going to pour about equal parts honey. Then I have four cloves of garlic. About a tablespoon of gochugan. Like I said, this is optional. It does make it spicy, and I like my food spicy. That's why I'm adding it. So now we're just gonna put this on medium heat, and we're gonna bring it to a little simmer until everything gets nice and thick, and then we're gonna toss and coat our chicken. This is what our sauce is looking like here. Still not thickened up a little bit, so we're just gonna let it cook for a couple more minutes. All right, guys, and that is it for our sauce there. And it's still hot, and it's gonna thicken up a little bit more once we cool it a little bit. We're just gonna go ahead and put our chicken in a bowl and toss it all together. soy garlic chicken. This looks so good. I cannot wait to eat it. Alright guys, go ahead and comment down below what other videos you guys would like to see from me. And make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And go ahead and share this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!